Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Once one young man, one uh, maybe around in his 30s has come here for a retreat. And he has a problem. He is a drunkard and addicted to drugs and drinks and he is destroying his life. And he is drinking as if he is living only to drink. Morning, evening, afternoon, every time drinking. And he is not in his senses always and his family members brought him here for a retreat. And as I was speaking to him, he was not able to, he was not able to, he was not cooperating and he was angry with everyone and he was destroying his life then after speaking 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 we came to know the basic root cause of his problem when he was studying in the school when he had so many friends he had some uh, girlfriend and he had so many uh, friends and he was like a hero and then something happened among his friends and uh, somebody lost a good amount of money in the hostel where they were hostel they were they, where they were staying together and at the end the blame was upon him though he was innocent everybody blamed him and he was caught it was a false accusation but still he was caught the in charge of the hostel called him thief his friends called him thief and everybody he is known as a th- and he's he's Uh, known the, as a thief in the holes uh, the college and everywhere everybody came to know he's he has done this but in fact he was innocent but nobody believed he lost his friendships and from that day he could not forgive those people who are responsible he could not forgive that incident he st- he wanted to take reaction to them he did something there itself but that was not effective he could not react according to his expectations so because everyone was uh, uh, cautioned about his reactions and everyone was careful so he could not take revenge on others and later all the everyone uh, you know after the studies they all went to their own areas of work and now he is destroying himself falling into he went into drug addiction drinking habits and smoking he was destroying his life and in between he was taken for a retreat somewhere and in the retreat he came to know that he want to he has to forgive and therefore he started forgiving he started he prayed during the adoration he forgave them but still this memories emotion is still there though he was trying his best to forgive that people and forgave them in his mind but the emotion is not getting healed emotion was not getting healed because those memories comes back and feeling so rejected all humiliations the way his friends called him his best friend his girlfriend left him all these things came to him and he could not control and he started again drinking and he started destroying himself praise the lord my dear brothers and sisters and then he he heard uh, the word of god and he knew that he has to believe his emotions are replaced by the emotions of jesus because in every holy eucharist he is re-exchange he is exchanging his body not only body his emotions everything is exchanged now jesus is in charge of his life and he fulfills all his promises he doesn't need to think about all the negative experiences that he went through from his school college and all the people but he has to look at jesus who is the author of his life jesus and his promises all the promises that is written in the bible is for him he had to believe this and he started believing 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 and he started praying praying and he started attending retreats continuously and the lord started blessing him we read like this word of god hebrew chapter 10 verse 23 hebrew chapter 10 verse 23 let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering for he who has promised he is faithful he who has promised he is faithful god who promised you promises he is faithful 
all the collections of data that you collected from the other people you are the hostel in charge your class classmates your girlfriend your friends everybody judged you wrongly they don't know you they don't care about your welfare they only collected the data available and judged you because they don't care for you and now you are destroying your life believing those wrong judgments you are destroying your life for that but remember what god wants to tell about you god what god has collected did the what god has pro, the promised about you those are the truth those are the real ones he is the one who knows you very well he says you are precious to me even if your sins are like the scarlet i will make it like wool he is jesus said god said i all your sins will be washed away i will cast out every sin from you i will collect all your tears in a bottle i will remember you i will never forget you i have written your names on my palm you are precious to me you are my child i will help you i will strength, strengthen you i will uphold you my victor with my victorious right hand i will never leave you orphan even your mother may forget you father may forget you but i will never forget you these are the realities my dear brothers and sisters don't listen to what others have spoken look at god what he wants to speak to you he who has promised is faithful don't destroy your life don't destroy your life collect because of the data you collected wrongly from others don't destroy your life by drinking dr- smoking and dr- taking drugs don't destroy your life by being addicted to alcohol and watching unholy videos and keeping hatred and ang- anger against others god has promised you beautiful promises for you he is faithful he knows you he he has a plan for you his plans for you is for your welfare not for your harm believe this you will be happy